Coast Guard. The white the flag is out. Forward, maybe. The last lap is underway. Who gets back first if there's no accident? I think they're going to have a hard time, even though Logano has a big run, getting back for Kyle Busch right here. I don't know. Looks like they might have a run. They do. Back down, come back down, come to back walk. down. Cut the other way. Half a lap to go. Here comes Stewart in the 33 as Logano goes to the point. Three wide in turn four. A squeeze to the outside wall. Trouble in the corner. Hard, vicious crash. Who gets through to win the race? Caution flag has just been called. The race leader is James Butcher in the 30 car. Here we come down to the white flag. One lap to go for David Reagan. All clear. One factor double wide. And look who's right behind Kenza. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has joined the party. Watch Harvick swing high here, though. Kevin Harvick's been known to break hearts at Daytona. He did it to Mark Martin in 2007 in the Daytona 500. He won this race one year ago. David Reagan, David. a half a lap away from his it, first victory. It's now time, isn't it, for the 20? It's time for the Better 20 go. to do something, or... One back to the right, Ken. That's uh -oh. it. Uh -oh. Reagan behind him. David Reagan. Reagan. behind the race leader. David Reagan. No caution yet. David Reagan coming Still back wrecking. to the start they're, finish they're line. They're wrecking again. everywhere now. They're wrecking again. Reagan with sweet redemption gets the victory at Daytona. Two separate wrecks on the last lap. Three wide behind them. You got him, Mikey. You got him, man. You got him. You got, you got him. You got it. You got it. You got it. Mikey. Michael Walter wins. All right. That's a television dream come true. Right. When he drives in, oh, he drives in hard. Oh, maybe too hard. He's going to open the door for the 17. Side, keep digging, buddy. White flag right here. Keep digging. Side by side, one to go. I think Flaney drove that thing in just a little bit too deep, Kyle. Hanging with them, though. He has given it all he has right now. This is great oh, racing good right stuff here, man. Right there. Now he's... See if he can hold that line through three and four. What a great run by Blaney, man. Has never won in the Bush Series. It's going to lose a little bit here, but... If... Oh, he's got it. Kenzie he's got Lobos. it. Kenzie's getting Kenzie loose. Kenzie's getting loose. Blaney. Oh. Right, back it down, baby. You're the best. Dave Blaney wins a wacky race at Charlotte. <laughs> Cole Witt makes it to pit road, no caution. Well, look how early Kevin Harvick can get back to the throttle. Gains on to the center, but Blaney does a nice job carrying uh, that speed off the corner. White like flag, it. one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Boy, he let Blaney really drive into the corner. Nice job off of turn one for Ryan Blaney. Gapped him a little bit. Got to get across this tunnel. If he gets across the tunnel, he's got it made. The calm voice of spotter Josh Williams Ooh, for little Blaney. Loose, little loose. Here he comes. He's looking. He's looking. Oh, Harvick had to get out of the throttle a little bit. Almost got in the wall. 400 miles. It's going to come down to one corner. That flat turn three. And Blaney beats Harvick back to the gas. Harvick looks slow, and here they come. The winner at Pocono, Ryan Blaney for the Wood Brothers. Wow. What a race. Wow. One lap to go to win the Brickyard 400. Bernard dealing with lap traffic. Oh. Trying to close in turn one. Bernard is cleared out. He's got to deal with the traffic. He's got enough looks fuel. Looks good. That might be enough now. Yes. Looks, looks good so far. This is going to be the biggest day of Paul Menard's life. But does he have enough fuel to get to the finish? Gordon clear of traffic. Setting up for the finish. Final corners. Good corner. Such a long racing history at Indianapolis. They'll kiss the bricks together now. Paul Menard wins the Brickyard 400. There you go. Nice one to go. 
The white flag wave sponsored by Credit One Bank. Tell you what, if he can just make it, if he can make it a turn three and four, he can coast. Now Kyle Busch just went to the outside of the 78 to take over second place. If Ooh, he yeah. runs out of fuel, he'll be the winner. Uh, that three's got it made. He's down on the bottom coming around turns three and four. Here but he he's got to get there. On fumes, Austin Dillon wins at Charlotte for Richard Childress Racing. Remember, everyone's a little tight on fuel as well. With the pickups in the fuel cell, pick up everything. Renegon needs to hang with him if he can. Michael McDowell doing a great job through the carousel right here, getting off that corner. A lot of speed through there. Nice exit. Both very brave through the kink. Using the runoff on the exit. And down to Canada Corner one final time. Another high breaking area here. See if Brendan gone. This is where he lost some time last time. Mike McDowell really smooth through this part. Both just on the edge of adhesion there. You hear the tires chirping. Getting all they can. Two corners left for McDowell. That is 14 there. Will McDowell hit it well? He does. He's not going to get him. Michael McDowell, a bridesmaid so many times, will be the winner today at Road America. Looks like JJ's just gotten a little bit too tight behind him. Guys, one lap to go. White flag for David Gillen. Just hold that line there, David. He's got about a three, four car length lead right there. See, a lot of people thought it'd be a long time before we see a Bush Series regular win another Bush Series race, but this is more important than that. A part-time guy with a rookie driver, this is absolutely incredible. Guys like the New York Jets beating the Baltimore coach in Super Bowl number three. David has truly beat the Goliath of NASCAR Bush Series races. David Gillen wins at Kentucky. He has a teammate behind him. That's Ben Rhodes. Two teammates behind him. He's only Make ever, it three teammates behind him. 16 tries, only one top five finish for our champion, Matt Kraft. And can he hang on? He's got a big lead. Don't get out too far. The final lap, Crafton in the 88 in front. Johnny, Johnny Sauter, Sauter inside, it's three wide. Making that hole. Forced his way to the middle. Middle of three. You're middle of three. Come on, 13. You got a guy coming to you. Not over. Keep digging. They're crashing. Rhodes in the crash. Keep digging. Damn. Crashed it up and over. And Cass Grala looks to me like will win this race. Huge crash at the end on the final lap. And Kaz Grala, the youngest driver in the field, the youngest driver to win a pole award in NASCAR's Touring Series history. We'll have to wait and see NASCAR, but he sure looked like he was the one that emerged with a lead. Here they come. Here comes Casey Kane. Ah! Well, Stenhouse did a great job to block that run that was coming. Well, he yeah, yeah, he's going to get to the inside right here. Great move by Ricky Stenhouse. Will he clear? Clear up. Clear I think up. he clear will. Up. Come on, get Not up. There. Not yet. Oh, We're past man. the overtime line. We have a race. Oh, we Next have a drag race. Is it? I tell you, I thought Stenhouse could have made a move up right there, but you can see he's pretty well. He's got some speed for the, he and the 7, 18 are pretty equal. Fastest car here carries Bush up the race. White flag trying to end a 101 race winless streak for car owner Jack Roush is Ricky Stenhouse. Look at this, four wide. Oh Everybody wants to get to the front. I just don't see how that's going to work out. Side drafter for McMurray on Casey Kane. He's going to get to the rear bumper. Argo in the middle between Jimmy Johnson and Kyle Busch. Now what Stenhouse do? Can he block? Can he block all of them coming at once? Five wide. Work it, dude. Work it. Last lap. Bang. That was that Bush into McMurray. Stenhouse gets away a little bit. Three wide. Here they come off turn four. This is the finish these fans came and stayed for. Ricky Stenhouse, the pride of Olive Branch, Mississippi. Top to bottom. Kyle Busch to the outside gets blocked by Stenhouse. Here they come. Stenhouse yes. wins it. <laughs> Woohoo! 
Brad Keselowski, the leader, coming back to the white flag. The next flag ends it. If there's a caution now, the race is over. Amaro is pushing hard on Larson. Larson sideways into the oh, wall. Man. There he goes. That's that same wall. Will they let him race back? No caution yet. Sparks for Eric Almarola. He's got a flat tire, I'm afraid. Brad is way out there. If, if, any, if any of these guys get a good run, Brad is in, in trouble here. The track is clear, and they're going to race back to the checkered flag. We talked about the... And here comes Ryan Reed to the inside. Team Penske, Jack Roush, they've never won here in the Xfinity Series. One, two, three. They're all four to the front. It might be too soon. Reed trying to block his teammate, Chris Busher. Here's the checkered flag. Ryan Reed wins it 